I could also say the same about the situation, the ongoing situation in Iran. The country has always had a rebellious streak. It was a cause of two revolutions in the last century. The Constitutional Revolution in 1905 and the Islamic Revolution in 1979. Now, that rebellious streak has emerged yet again. We've been reporting this, this time in the form of protests against the hijab. Most of you know the story by now. Earlier this month, a 22-year-old Iranian woman died in police custody. Her name was Masa Amini. Her crime? Not wearing the hijab properly. Since then, protesters have taken over the streets of Iran. These are daily demonstrations, sloganeering, and of course, global condemnation. And now in the latest, Amini's family has filed a case against the Iranian police officers. But the regime in Tehran is not bothered. It has responded with a two-pronged strategy. One, to brutally crack down on the protesters. And two, blame foreign elements for the unrest. Let's tell you now about the first strategy. Iran has deployed riot police in multiple cities. They are following a zero-tolerance policy. At last count, the crackdown had claimed 76 lives. Also, 1,200 people had been arrested. Security officials are using tear gas, water cannon, and metal pellets to drive out protesters. In simple words, it is a disproportionate force, a disproportionate response. Let me give you an example. Have you seen this viral video from the protests? The woman you see is Hadis Najafi. She confidently knotted her uncovered hair and marched out to demonstrate on the streets. We've all seen this. Many hailed her as a symbol of the protests. But now, reports claim she has been killed. Apparently, Iranian forces shot her in the face, the abdomen and neck. Just gives you a sense about the brutality. The second strategy is an Iranian classic. They are blaming Kurdish separatists and the United States for fueling these protests. Have they offered any proof for it? No. But that has never stopped Iran in the past. Their revolutionary guards are bombing Kurdish targets in northern Iraq. Tehran claims that Kurdish separatists are funneling weapons to stir up the protests. Again, I repeat, there is no proof whatsoever. The northern part of Iraq is home to Kurdish rebel groups. Iran has regularly carried out strikes on this particular region. And in the last five days, there have been three bombings. First on Saturday, then Monday, and finally on Wednesday. Today's strike has killed at least nine people, and this according to Kurdish officials. Even within Iran, there is a brutal campaign of repression. Internet services have been cut off in multiple cities. So right now, it's hard to imagine the complete picture, to even report on the same. Most of the information that we have currently is partial. The United Nations says it is very concerned by the use of force. Listen in. We at the UN Human Rights Office are very concerned uh, by the continued violent response by security forces to protests in Iran, as well as communications restrictions affecting landline and mobile usage, the internet and social media platforms. Thousands have joined anti-government demonstrations throughout the country over the past 11 days. Security forces have responded at times with live ammunition. Every day, new elements are joining this movement. Like celebrities, Iranian stars are now openly standing against the hijab. At least six actors have spoken out so far. Let me introduce them to you. Shiva Ibrahimi. She is a popular Iranian television star. Take a look at her latest post on Instagram. Ibrahimi is posing without the traditional headscarf. Let me now read out the accompanying message. I'm quoting, I am an Iranian woman who for years, because of enforcement and fear, wore a headscarf, but it was never my choice and it no longer will be. Another example is Asghar Farhadi. He is an acclaimed Iranian film director. He posted this video message on his social media. He says, the state is denying women basic fundamental rights. Finally, we have Iranian athlete Ali Karimi. Many call him the Asian Maradona. Karimi condemned the killing of Masa Amini. He also questioned the crackdown by the Iranian regime. Now, I know this all sounds like a full-blown revolution, but do not discount the power of the Iranian regime. Its control over the state machinery is absolute, which means any concession will have to be political. The protesters are unlikely to be able to overpower the state. 
And that brings us to the question of Iran's political response. How receptive are the leaders in Tehran? Frankly, not receptive at all. President Ibrahim Raisi is a hardline leader. He has consistently opposed the anti-hijab movement. Anybody who stands against him will be dealt with, even political royalty. Let me now give you an example. Officials in Tehran have arrested the daughter of former Iranian President Hashemi Rafsanjani. The charges? Inciting riots in the capital city. Rafsanjani was a co-founder of the Iranian Republic. He had a rather illustrious political career. First, as Speaker of the Parliament, then as President during the Iran-Iraq War. Rafsanjani played a key role in selecting the current Supreme Leader, Ayatollah, Ayatollah Khamenei. So you can imagine how powerful he was and despite that, the Iranian police has now arrested his daughter. Just tells you how ruthless the crackdown truly is. Rafsanjani was often considered to be a moderate Iranian leader. And now, just to be clear, when I say moderate, I mean an Iranian moderate. In many ways, this is what this unrest is all about, a battle for the soul of the Islamic Republic. The survival of any revolution depends on its ability to evolve, to accommodate new demands and trends, to stay with the times, to balance between moderates and radicals. So far, the Iranian regime has resisted all these changes. But the question is, for how much longer the spirit of rebellion brought the Ayatollahs to power in Tehran. That same rebellious spirit is now challenging its foundation. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.